Look at mama. <laughs> you a bucket head. A bucket. <laughs> He's such a big boy. Camden. Say hello. He took it off. So, we have been going strong this morning. <laughs> Camden woke up at 6.30, y'all. So early. <laughs> but since I was up early, I was like, you know what? We've got so much stuff to do. We've got a busy weekend. I want to get some of the mowing done. We haven't been able to keep up with it because we've had a lot of rain. So, while, you know, before the heat of the day, get some of the mowing done. So, the kids and I are kind of taking turns mowing. We only have a push mower, y'all. <laughs> And it overheated, so we're taking a break. I've actually been inside and cooled down a little bit. So we joke, I'm like, we bought five acres of mostly cleared land and we only have a push mower. We will get something, we will figure it out. I definitely, a lot of y'all gave me some good suggestions about animals, which is like something that we want to do. We've just got to figure out fencing and stuff like that. Um, but anyways. So we have a busy weekend, so I thought that I would take y'all along. Today's actually Friday, so it's, I kind of feel like Friday's part of the weekend. Do y'all feel that way? During the summer it is, right? <laughs> so we've got a busy day. So it's good that we got up early and getting some stuff done because the rest of the day is just jam-packed. We actually have a book sale that I've got to drop stuff out, drop stuff off at some other errands that we have to do. So I thought that I would just take y'all along our busy weekend. Go to the park. All right, so we just dropped the older kids off at church. Um, they have their internship today. Like, I knew it was today, but it just wasn't at the forefront of my mind. <laughs> and, you know, just busy doing the yard work. And the kids were like, Mom, we we're, we need to leave soon. I was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. So, But we, we did manage to get most of the backyard done. Everything isn't done, but that's okay. Um, so drop them off. So that's Taylor, Jax Taylor, Addison, Peyton, and Jackson. And they will be here for a few hours. Um, but we are actually going to go to the park and meet some friends. So we got to get home to get our stuff for that. Yep. You want to go park? Yep. We're going to go to the duck park. How will you guys bring some food? Yeah, we'll get some food. <laughs> so we stopped by the house before going to the park because I had to get some stuff. So I have the book sale later. So I have cleaned out my schoolroom. I've been getting rid of two good sized boxes of stuff to sell at the book sale. I'll show y'all that later. But then at the book sale, they always have like a free section. So I have a box of stuff just to put in the free area. Well, all my friends that we are meeting at the park today, some of them suggested like, hey, why don't we bring some of the homeschool stuff that we want to get rid of just for free, kind of like as a swap type thing. Okay, I'll be right there. Um, so that'll be fun. I'm planning on not taking anything because we're moving. To... <laughs> we'll see what happens with that, right? <laughs> but I've got a good size box to contribute to the free table. So I'm gonna show y'all that. So these are just, you know, some manipulative, some hands-on stuff that we just haven't used in a while. And I'm really trying to consolidate what we have overall throughout our whole house with moving. So I have been cleaning out rooms and purging I just actually haven't showed it yet on video, but this is my box of free stuff. So we are gonna load this up and take it to the park with us and hopefully they take it. If not, it's going in the free section at the book sale. I totally just filled another box of stuff to give away. So I say all that to encourage y'all to get together with your friends and share some resources that you are done with and would like to pass on. That is a great way of reusing stuff and helping families out. Pass me 
All right, <laughs> I got my helpers <laughs> and then all of these books. Mom, since there's wheels, I thought yep. it could go up. Yeah, it does, baby. Oh, so, okay. all we have what five boxes of books that we have to drop off for the book sale. Yeah. Now, all we us, take, um, other Mom, now, there, there's a free us, section that we can Mom, look at. Now, right now, all of us gotta yeah. go on your side. Yeah, all right, so y'all gonna help me? Yeah, I brought so this gonna... cart in case we needed it. No. Okay, hang on. That's a cart no. if yeah. we need some books. Um, well, like maybe. Yep. Mama, it's okay. Mama, mama, going shopping. <laughs> Got my muscles. Hmm. It's like go, one of Logan, this go. Water. It's kind of like um, from the store, but it's yeah. a big flatbed. It's a mini flatbed. Uh-huh. It's a little while later, y'all. It has been such a busy day. The kids are obviously very happy and playing in the living room. So we have just had so much going on that I haven't picked up the camera, but we just finished dinner. I wanted to show y'all dinner and show you the dishes before we actually, you know, ate and all of that. But I got a phone call and was taking that. So Nathan and the kids ate, but I came out here and I just had to start eating because well, I was hungry. But we had chicken taquitos, rice, and black beans. We actually have a ton of rice left over. Um, the black beans are almost gone. And this was a full pan of taquitos, and there was three in this. So that's what we have left over. This recipe is actually really easy and very good. I used that pre-shredded shredded chicken that I made in a previous video, so it just whips up really quick. So it's Saturday morning now, y'all. <laughs> We had to get the older girls, Taylor, Addison, and Peyton, to the church at 7 a.m. They are going on kind of like a youth day trip. So they will be gone most of the day today. They are super excited. We had to obviously get up early to get there. And Nathan and I totally rock, paper, scissors it. Rock, paper, scissored it. It's a verb, right? <laughs> to see who got up early to take the kids. And I lost, y'all. I was like, I always, I always win rock, paper, scissors. Always. Anyway, so it actually was fine. I was wanting to come because I have that book sale. So it really wasn't like me getting out about an extra, I don't know, two hours, something like that. Anyways, but so I'm running some errands. I've got to get formula for Camden while we're out. Um, I still can't get it on Amazon right now. Um, so hopefully I have to get it at Whole Foods and then... I was gonna try to go to a thrift store. I don't know if I'll make it there or not because it's 7.45 right now. I'm waiting for Whole Foods to open and then the book sale doesn't start till nine. So I've got about an hour to kill, which would be fine. If anything, I just like sit in solitude and quiet waiting for the book sale to start. <laughs> and then the boys have their football games at noon. So I gotta be you know home in time for that. And I'm trying to think of what else we have. Well, I have to get the older girls at two. So that's what my day is looking like. Got to get formula. The thrift store that I was hoping to go to doesn't open till 10. So that's not going to happen. But Stop one day. Got the formula. So I decided to stop and get myself a treat. So I got, I went to Panera and I got a bagel. I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> and then a chocolate latte. Y'all, if y'all haven't had a chocolate latte yet, it's good. Just saying. I need this to kind of fuel my day too. <laughs> home Nathan and I have switched roles he has left Jackson and Logan have a football game they actually got a ride with our neighbors who plays on the same team um, to the practice before the game and now Nathan's going to the game I'm staying home with all the little kids because it's supposed to storm and they will play even through the rain as long as there's no lightning so we don't want the little kids out in the rain for obvious reasons that just does not sound like fun so we switched Nathan did 
he washed all the bottles and washed, did a lot of the dishes, but they're still a mess. So I'm gonna get to cleaning this messy kitchen. Um, and then we actually will have nap time. So I might get to sit for a little bit today, y'all. But I wanted to show y'all what I got at the book sale. So this book sale happens once a year. It's so many homeschoolers sell at this every year. It's a good place to get used curriculum. Um, I did not need a ton of stuff this year because, well, I already know what I'm doing now. We still have the decorations up because, you know, priorities <laughs> um, from Taylor's birthday. Anyways, I'm going to stop jamming my jaw and show y'all what I got. Okay, from the free stuff from yesterday, I did pick up like just a, two or three things. It was a devotional for me, a book for Miley, and a word game. Um, <laughs> so, again, I was trying not to get a lot of stuff, talk myself out of a lot of things because with moving, we need to downsize, but then I'm gonna show you what I got, and it'll be like, downsize. Really, Jessica? I gotta get camped. Okay, so here's the pile that I got. I think I did pretty good. So last year, I actually got the Hooked on Phonics Level 1. It was a newer version, because this, y'all, actually, I noticed after I had picked it up, it comes with a cassette tape, y'all. Somebody has had this on their shelf for a while and decided to clean out, and <laughs> just kind of cracked me up. I don't need the tapes, um, so it's not that big of a deal to me, but at $5, I thought this was, it says it's a complete set, so as long as, you know, everything's there, I thought it was worth it because it comes with all the readers, and I really liked level one that I have for Reagan. We have gone through it, and I've also, I have the app as well, and that I just really, I just really like it, so I found levels two three and four there for all three dollars or five dollars each so i thought that was worth it because i think that i will do that with reagan and harper so i got those i thought that was a good deal to go ahead and get then i saw this chart for two dollars it's like a dry erase board magnetic for uh number sentences place value and i just i just thought that, that would be a good manipulative to have with teaching place value for the kids and then this was a dollar. Camden's over there beating on the bench. <laughs> so sorry for the background noise, but so for a dollar, I thought again for teaching how to read. It this is, you know, the hard card stock, so this will hold up well. I just like having stuff like this because, well, it just helps teaching the kids how to read. I don't know what curriculum this is from, but I obviously won't use it with the curriculum. <laughs> just use it as we need it. Okay, so these were kind of some extra things. We are actually doing birds at our co-op this upcoming year. So I saw this book and just thought that it was really good. And Logan actually really enjoys reading books about birds. So I just thought this would be something nice to do in our morning basket or in our morning time. Um, so I got this book and this was a dollar. And then, well, y'all know, I love to garden. <laughs> and I just really like this book. So I got it for me. It was a dollar fifty, attracting butterflies and birds to your garden. And it actually, what I really liked about it is one, I just like to read garden books and have these on hand, but this had, is it in the way back? It had ideas of how to build things for butterflies and birds and just some like stuff like this, a bird feeder that I thought would just be nice to have like, you know, doing stuff like this, a flower pot bird bath, a butterfly bath. I don't know. I just really liked it, especially with getting the land and y'all. I plan on doing all the gardening things. So, I just really liked it. So, I got that for me. Amelia Bedelia book because it was 50 cents. And who doesn't love Amelia Bedelia? We don't have that one. So, the Titanic's Last Hero. I This was 50 cents. I thought this would be a good book to assign one of my older kids to read for their um, English. And then, I have wanted to get this book for a long time. And anytime that I happened to actually even see it used, it was like $5 or more. But this was a dollar. So I decided to go ahead and get it. Just, um, it is Making Brothers and Sisters Best Friends. I've heard good things about it. It's actually written from the perspective of the kids. So I'm going to look it over and wonder if this actually just isn't a book that I should have my kids read. I don't know. I just thought that would be a good reference book to have. I have, um, How to Have a New Kid by Friday, which has been a good reference book to like go back on anyways. It's not by the same author. I'm just throwing that out there. Frog and Toad, because who doesn't love Frog and Toad? And we don't have this one, so I thought that would be a good book. And Corduroy, the same. So that was a dollar. 
and corduroy for 50 cents. I mean, that you just have to pick up corduroy. So I just love these, these books on. Okay, so then Logan really likes the Bernstein Bears and we don't have this one. And again, it was 50 cents. So I got that for him. And I love these fun with nature books. And for 350, this is several books in one that it was somebody's Christmas gift too. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought that this would be a good reference book for our nature study that we do um, with co-op or, you know, what? Oh, there's a scrapbook in there that somebody drew, and I didn't know that. Anyways, but frogs, and I was trying to find, there was birds in here, and that's partly why I picked it up. Actually, rabbits, squirrels, and chipmunks. Um, I saw that, and I thought that the kids would like that because we saw a lot of wild rabbits out at the property that we are eventually moving on to as well. So, got that. And then my dear sweet friend from co-op told me, Jessica, you need this book because I was going to have to order it for part of the curriculum for Jackson for middle school. I think that's, it was for Jackson. Anyway, so I bought it because she told me I'm going to need it. So I got that. And this is the complete book of microscope for my sport. Going to that sale is one of my favorite things because I see a lot of my homeschool mom friends <laughs> and I also get stuff that we will need. And y'all, so when you get your books, you set them down on a chair instead of carrying them all. You're not allowed to bring like carts or strollers into it because it's in a gymnasium and they want, you know, the floor to stay nice for basketball and so on and so forth. Anyway, so, so I had all my stuff sitting on this chair and somebody thought that it was abandoned items. And so they put it all back. So I had to like go, well, one, remember what I picked up. If I didn't remember it, obviously I didn't need to buy it. But go find all the stuff that I remembered. And they apologized. They were like, sorry, it had sat here for a little bit. It's because I was talking, y'all. I mean, why else was it sitting there? Anyways, but I realized now after being home, there was another book that I needed for Jackson for middle school science at co-op that was in that pile. And it got put back. So that really stinks. But oh, well, things happen. Um, so I will, I've got to actually order all of our co-op stuff. Camden, I got to get him again. But that's the stuff that we got. Really, not a lot of it's for our upcoming school year, except for Reagan stuff. So it's a little bit later. I got the little kids down for their nap, and now I'm gonna tackle this kitchen. It gets out of hand really quick. I mean, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of little kids here, so messes happen really fast. I know Nathan did a lot um, as far as like cleaning, but as he was leaving, he was like, seriously, like a Cheerio mess had just happened. Anyway, so I'm gonna tackle all this stuff now. And there's the storm. <laughs> so it actually was coming down pretty good. It's lightened up a tad. <laughs> so Jackson, Logan, and Miley, and Nathan are out in this. And the boys will be playing football unless it's lightning. So I kind of just had to come in, spend some time with little kids, get them down, feed myself. And now it's time to tackle this. Put the stuff up that I bought. That's the formula for Camden. Breakfast stuff is still out, actually. The older girls actually made French toast before we left. Yes, at 6 o'clock in the morning, they were making French toast. And get the clean silverware put up, dishes put up, food put up, obviously. Wash what's left and sweep this floor. Publix for a few things. Kind of hit a brick wall, got really tired. I had planned on making dinner, but we decided to do macaroni and cheese and we will have strawberries with it for dinner. Um, so we always need milk, always. Miley was with me, she asked me for strawberry applesauce, my favorite creamer. And then this is always a treat when we go to Publix is that blackberry lemonade, so good. Um, milk, and so strawberries were actually 99 cents a pack at uh, I almost said Sam's at Publix and it didn't have a limit either like I, I will try to go back tomorrow because we will probably eat three of these tonight 
but nice. so we're mac and cheese is already cooking we're actually doing two different kinds <laughs> of mac and cheese and then we will have strawberries with it and that is Woo! dinner tonight y'all mm. so we are getting the mac and cheese cooking we're hungry we're tired we've been up for a long time today the older kids older girls are back from their day trip and they had a blast they actually went tubing so much fun so you're making some lemonade this lemonade is so good so if y'all have a Publix get their blackberry lemonade it's towards the end of the evening we've bathed the kids we've got the kitchen clean so I'm gonna end this video here thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see y'all in the next video